Aloha guys, welcome to my log. And today we have Choi Hee Jun with us. Uh, he is all the way from Fiji, guys, and he is also a student here in Hawaii. So welcome, Jun. And can you, uh, like, make, make, can you actually introduce your, like, yourself to us, please? Sure. My name is Isun Choi. A lot of people call me John. I'm from, uh, I was born in Korea, raised in Fiji. And um, also I've been to Japan and Hawaii and live in different places. Right now I'm schooling in BYU, Hawaii and studying a uh, majoring, uh, majoring in computer science, minoring in Japanese music and entrepreneurship. Wow, that's awesome. So you are like basically ethnicity wise, like you have been like all around the place from Korea to Fiji and in Japan. All right, that's like a lot of cultures. I know. So I have a question for you, John. Okay. Uh, like out of all the places like you've been and then since like you have like this mixed ethnicity, mm -hmm. which place made you f like me feel like the home like the most and why? I mean, like a lot of places I felt home because so many people had lo loved me. I felt love from so many people. But the, yeah. Of course, the most place was Korea. Because that's where yeah. my, you know, blood's from. I mean, it means like my parents are from. And it, and I was born there in a lot of people. My nationality is South Korea, I mean, Korean. And so, I mean, like when I went to Korea, like I felt like, oh, I'm, I'm a part of this culture, you know. Even though I was not growing up in my own country, a lot of people looking at me and treat me like we are the same nationality. We are one, we are the one. We are Korean. So I feel a lot home when I went to Korea. All right. That's awesome. So you feel more home when you're in Korea. Yeah. And how many languages like you speak, John? I do speak uh, four languages. Four languages. That's awesome. And and like, and like, what are they? Uh, I can speak English, Fijian, and Korean, and Japanese. Japanese. Wow, that's so cool. All right, I have uh, another one more like uh, question for you. Mm -hmm. What is the greatest fear in your life and why? I, I mean, like, there's a lot of fears, but first, the biggest fear is losing my family. Because the thing is, I love mm -hmm. my family as much as I love myself. I mean, I can't sacrifice myself for my family because that's my, how much I love my family. I believe I learned from my father and my mother, my parents, that how important the family is from the young age yeah. and the family always bring me joy and happiness and I don't want to lose that so I think most fear that I have is one day I'll lose them you know I mean even though I feel happy right now joy with my family feeling joy with my family but one day they will be away from me I mean right now I'm feeling a little bit because I'm being away from my parents and it's really hard to contact with my parents because I have something that I'm doing and my, something that my parents are doing. And it's like, it's totally separate things that we're doing and it's really hard to communicate each other. But at least right now we can communicate because they're still alive. But once they, you know, pass away, it will be really hard for me to communicate. There's no way that I can communicate. I can talk to them. That's why I think my biggest fear, losing my family. Wow, that's awesome, John. And uh, uh, one last thing, I guess. Before we go, uh, if there is like something like you have to say to like everybody, like a tiny, like an uh, like an advice or a quote, or maybe like can you actually share it with us? Sure. My favorite quote is "I work hard and play hard." But the thing is, when you're focusing on something, like you should focus on what you're doing. When you're playing, you should play hard as much as you can. When you're working, you have to work hard because the thing is, once you focus on what you're doing, you can achieve your goals. All right. That's awesome, guys. And this is John for you. And mahalo. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.